Hey, have you seen or known anyone who's very happy on the outside but has gone through severe tragedies in life? That person could be mentally strong or resilient. Resilience is our capacity to recover quickly from the adversities or the difficulties that life throws at us. It's also called as bouncing back. Just like this rubber band, it can be stretched to its limits, but eventually when the pressure reduces, it comes back to its original form. Similarly, if the pressures of your world are stretching you to limit, it is your mental resilience that will help you come back to your original form. So in today's world of uncertainty, it is very important for us to develop that mental resilience. And in this video, I'm gonna give you tips on how you can strengthen it. Let's get started. Resilience can be described as a mental muscle, which all of us have to some degree. However, you can develop and strengthen it with determination and of course, little bit of practice. Practice can help you get better at anything, right? So how does a resilient person behave? Here are some of the traits. They are in complete control of themselves. They accept whatever is happening with them. They adapt to every situation. They work with adversity. They work on themselves. They let go and live in the moment. When we are resilient, we tend to be more optimistic, confident, proactive, and in complete control of our lives. So in order for you to strengthen your mental muscle, here are a few tips for you. Tip number one, be aware of your inner dialogue. Your mental strength is determined by what you think, and believe. You know, our brain is so powerful that whatever you think it, you can achieve it. So be mindful of what you are feeding it. With periodic reflection, you will realize that if you feed it positivity, it will ultimately change the narrative of your life. What you feed grows. What you starve dies. The second tip is that you work around your limitations. You know your strengths and limitations, right? If you don't know it yet, I think you should invest some time in getting that in place. Once you know your limitations, instead of fighting it, if you accept it, something wonderful happens. You'll automatically begin to work with it, work around it. And that is the first step of self-acceptance, which eventually helps you take complete control of your mind. The third tip is that you figure out your why your purpose. When you're 100% sure what your goal in life is, you will rarely get deviated from it. A clear sense of purpose enables you to focus on what matters the most, making you take the risks and push forward regardless of circumstances. So when your why is compelling and your focus unwavering, you will find energy, determination and courage to take you forward. This strengthens mental resilience. The fourth tip I have for you is to build self-compassion. Self-compassion involves offering compassion to ourselves. This includes accepting who you are with all sincerity, without any judgments, and seeking to improve the areas of life that you wish to change with kindness. Which means you stop criticizing yourself, learn to let go and forgive for your own sake. Forgiving doesn't mean that you let the offender off the hook or reconciling with them. It means that you're not going to trouble yourself for someone else's mistakes. Remember, resilience is a special skill. It's an adaptive mode of thinking, which needs to be developed gradually alongside techniques for improving reaction and response. It is a skill that can be worked on and improved. If you're interested in strengthening your resilience, then do check out my e-learning course details in the description below. If you have any questions or feedback for this video, do leave it in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching. If you find this video resourceful, do hit a like button and share it with your friends. And I'll see you next week. Until then, take good care of yourself.